Now, when you are reading something, it's very important to be able to evaluate the material that you are reading. And one of the key distinctions that you need to know as you are reading is the difference between fact and opinion. When you're reading, you want to be able to tell, in particular, the quality of the information you're looking at by seeing, is this fact or is this opinion? Now, a fact is something that can be objectively proved. Um, that is to say, you can go uh, and observe something and see it for yourself or you can go and look at reliable sources of information and you'll see facts. Those are things that you can objectively prove. And by the way, they can be proved true or they can also be pro proved false. So if you have something that's a fact, even if you prove it false, it's still not an opinion. Being false doesn't make it an opinion, it's just a false fact. Opinion, on the other hand, is going to be what somebody thinks or believes. And so an opinion is something you can't just go out and prove. You can't look up a reliable source or observe things. So an opinion, one of the things to look for if you're looking to see whether something's an opinion, one possibility is it may be some form of a value judgment. For example, if you say something is good or something is bad or something is better than something else, um, where you're putting a value on something or you might say, oh, it's something that's fun or something that's tedious or things like that. A value judgment is something that you can look for and say, okay, that's an opinion. Uh, another form of opinion to look for is if you have words like should or ought or those types of words. Uh, again, when we're looking at those sorts of words, we're looking not at what something is, but we're looking at what something should be, what this person believes should happen or what people should do. So again, those are flags to look for if you're trying to see whether something's an opinion. Another form of an opinion is a prediction. Because nobody really knows for sure what is or is not going to happen in the future. Um, there's no way to know absolutely for certain that something's going to happen. And a good example of a prediction is on the television news. When you look at the weather person, uh, who is predicting what the weather is going to do tomorrow, and sometimes the prediction turns out accurate and sometimes not. Uh, if the weather person says it's going to rain and then it doesn't rain, um, that tells you that that prediction wasn't uh, accurate. But when you're predicting, nobody knows the future, so a prediction is another form of opinion. So, for example, we might take a statement like, the sky is blue. This is something we can go out and test. We can go outside and look up and see whether the sky is blue. So that makes this a fact. Uh, and in fact, if I go outside and it's a cloudy, rainy day and the sky is not blue, it's still a fact, it's just a false fact. So when you can test it and you can prove whether it's true or false, that lets you know it's a fact. On the other hand, we may have something like the sky in New Mexico is the most beautiful in the U.S. This one is not something you can objectively test and prove. 
In fact, probably residents of a lot of other states would claim their sky is the most beautiful. I mean, you even have Montana, which calls itself the big sky. So this is something that's just an opinion. The person who says this, you can't go and objectively prove it. Now, how about this one? The Chicago Bears have blue and orange uniforms that are the ugliest in the NFL. What we're looking at here is we start out with something that is a fact. It is a fact the Chicago Bears have blue and orange uniforms. But we finish this particular statement with a value judgment that those uniforms are ugly. So we have, again, an opinion. OK, uh, another example, golf is not a sport. Once again, we have something that's debatable because there are some people who would argue that golf is not a sport because you're not exerting yourself and things like that. Um, it depends how you define sport, and that's something that's fairly vague, and you can't really objectively prove it. So that, once again, is an opinion. Another example of, uh, uh, is Tony Romo has more passing yards and more touchdown passes than any other Dallas Cowboys quarterback. What we have here is something that actually is something you can go and prove. Uh, you can go to the NFL uh, statistics and look up and see how many passing yards and how many touchdown passes Tony Romo has. Uh, so you can verify that he does indeed have more passing yards and touchdown passes. So this one is a fact. This is one that you can look up. On the other hand, while we're still talking about Tony Romo, uh, we may have uh, Tony Romo has never taken the Cowboys to the Super Bowl. So he should not be in the Hall of Fame. Okay, once again, we have something that starts with a fact. It is a fact that the Cowboys have never gone to the Super Bowl while Romo was quarterback. Um, however, we end this thing with a should. A should here is something that flags, oh, this is an opinion. So this is somebody's opinion that Tony Romo should not get into the Hall of Fame.